Hey, you guys. I'm not going to be here long. I'm supposed to be on my, have my little break for lunch. Um, but I did really want to talk about something so disturbing that I heard about today. Um, for all of those of you, I, I made a, a TikTok on it, but I really, it's, it was, it's been on my spirit, like, since I heard it this morning. And I've been researching um, the situation. Um, in the state of Texas, a gentleman went to go pick up his children or his child um, from their mother and apparently got in a disagreement with the mother. And I'm going to text some of y'all here. Sorry. I haven't done it like this in a while. I usually go live from my streaming um, experience and not just from my phone. I haven't done this in forever. Come on. Live from the phone or whatever. Tag somebody and stuff. I'm trying to tag folks so they can join, but you know. Okay. So, um, it was really disturbing to hear, uh, through the radio that a gentleman went to go pick up his child from his child's mother and apparently they got in a disagreement um when they got in the disagreement apparently the mother's uh boyfriend husband the gentleman came um and got in the argument with a rifle um the father of the child you know said no you're not gonna xyz attempts to take the rifle the boyfriend husband of the child's mother shoots and kills the father i have so many problems with this i have so many issues with this whole scenario so personally this touches home for several reasons um you know as a child growing up my parents got divorced and um, it's already hard enough when your parents are not together and there's disarray and disagreement and issues. Um, but I don't know what that my life would have been like if my father was not allowed to be in my life. I don't know who I would be. I don't know what I would have to offer to the world. I don't know who I would be able to be as a mother or a wife or a woman or a person with oh i'm getting tear tear teary eyed i'm like i'm getting uh, like emotional um i don't know who i would be as a person without my father he is everything and it's so unfortunate in these situations where men who really want to be fathers um there are barriers created to them being fathers. And I get, I'm not at all saying that these men are A1 communicators and A1 providers and A1 folks. I'm not at all saying these men get a pass for being jerks and, you know, poor communicators and even poor fathers sometimes. But I do, however, think that, you know, all of us are doing our best. And even in the event that these men are attempting to be the best fathers they can be at the time it is not our job as women to be barriers to that it's our job to be supporters anything outside of violence or abuse um we should be supporting our children having relationships with their fathers and not allowing our emo emotional experiences or our, emo our emotional turmoil and baggage to influence our child's relationships with their parents their fathers specifically um, and in the event that we take on another spouse, it is not their place to influence our child's relationship with their their biological parents. It is not their place. I am not only the mother of a child to a child that is not biologically mine. You know, my husband had a child before we got together and my son i can still consider my son however his mother his biological mother is his mother um and i will never ever stand in the way of that that's not my job that is not my duty it is my duty to be an extra 
love and support and care to that beautiful young man that I had the privilege to be in the life of. His mother and his father are his mother and his father. Um, I have always stood behind my husband in being a father to his son. That is invaluable. You cannot replace a father. You cannot do it in no way, shape, or form. Now, can you get someone who can be influential? Can you get someone to pour into that child? Yes. However, comma, you cannot replace their biological parent. That's just not a thing. Um, and again, watching my husband, watching my father, watching my grandfather, watching men, my grandparents on both sides, um, be fathers to their children and then make the world of difference in their life. You know, it's not our job as, as women to get in the way of that. Um, you know, it's interesting how we make decisions on who we allow to be the other parent to our children and then we're upset with them for being exactly who they are. Um, but at some point we chose them. That's not our children's consequence. You know, it should be ours. If we're upset, we need to take that up with us. Um, our children didn't ask for either one of us. They got us, right? Um, we need to be very careful about how we handle that. Fatherhood is, is invaluable. Fatherhood, you know, taking care of our children is invaluable. I don't even want to know what that experience is going to be like. How do you explain that to your children? What was that valuable or important to take away a, the child's father? How? Why? How do you explain it? There's no explanation for that. I don't care how emotional. I don't care how upset. Um, unless your life was in jeopardy. No. And I know one of the, the questions asked... Um, I was listening to the, the radio show and one of the questions they asked was, was this self-defense? Self-defense for what? Uh, against what? He showed up to pick up his child. And a gentleman comes from outside the house with a gun. Self-defense where? Give me my child so I can go. Why do I need to prepare to defend myself with a firearm when I'm coming to pick up my child? Where? How? For what? This, again, this whole story really did not sit well with my spirit, with my soul. Uh, because I, I, I grew up as a black girl with a black father at home. And even after my parents divorced... My father didn't live far away, and he, it, I mean, we were together damn near every day. We talked every day. He is one of the most important influences in my life, period, ever. And so I don't know, you know, my mom having to put her feelings aside to provide a space for us to have a relationship with him wasn't valuable, wasn't just about her anymore. It was about us and she understood that. Um, so I, I really, I really hope for the sake of these children and for their futures, for their emotional stability, for them being able to grow up and understand what it means to be a parent and their value as human beings, that as parents, we can put aside our emotional turmoil or go to therapy, shit, go, go to therapy for co-parenting. That is a thing. I absolutely encourage and empower families to go learn how to be better families, learn how to communicate better, learn how to connect, learn how to talk to each other better, learn how to have a functional, productive relationship for the sake of your family. You are a family now and forever. You are a family. Keep that in mind. Your children are the glue. Your family, 
you know, I it's interesting when people say, you know, when you turn 18, I'm, I'm, I got to deal with this person till you 18. No, you don't. It's forever. When my baby had her birthday party this past year at my dad's house, guess who came? Not only my mother, my mom's mother, my grandmother, my child's great grandmother, my mom's family, my aunts, my cousins were at my dad's house because we're a family. And my child shouldn't have to choose between my father's side of the family or my mother's father's side of the family and my grandmother's side. She shouldn't have to choose. She didn't do anything to deserve that. Everybody showed up and showed out. That's the way it's supposed to be. We're a family. The choices we made are for some of these choices are not temporary as long as, long as you know, I know like we like to think like they are. They're not. Both of my parents came to my graduation. Both of my parents celebrated me at my high school graduation. Both of my college graduations. How my wedding, the birth of my child, like what, what do my like my accomplishments coming to visit Christmases, holidays, birthdays, celebrations. We're together. That's how it's supposed to be. We shouldn't have to choose. So please, 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 for the sake of your sanity and your children and for the sake of love and life, figure it out. It is nothing worse than having to watch a child having to choose between the two people they love the most. That is not something that they ever would have asked for. I would have never asked for that. I just ever wanted my parents to figure it out. Figure it out. We suffer, the kids, we suffer. And eventually those kids become adults and they become parents. And you're teaching them how to treat each other. They're teaching, you're teaching them how to treat their future partners, the future mothers and fathers of their children. You're teaching them all that through what you model for them. Show up in a different way work your shit out in therapy so you can show up differently it's not just about us when we become parents it's about our children it is about our children right we don't have to like their father or their mother but we need to show the respect that we would want them to show us right our pride and our ego make decisions for us that get us in a lot of trouble. Be clear about the decisions you're making and be accountable for them. It's never too late to make it right. It's never too late to make it right. I'm 35 years old and I am so grateful that my parents were able to figure it out. I am grateful to them. I thank them so much for being such beautiful spirits and challenges for me showing me that this can happen. You can have holidays with parents who are no longer together. We can all celebrate together and we don't have to choose. They did that for me, that was a gift. So I know it's possible and I'm not saying it was perfect. I'm not saying it always went peachy keen, but I am saying that I was granted the opportunity. I am saying that we figured it out as a family as a family, because we're family, we're family, right? Hurt, harm, and suffering can take us to places that we don't, we don't wanna be, we don't wanna live. It's a hard place to live. Find it in yourself for you and for your kids to do something different, to do something different. That gentleman losing his life while going to get his child is just, I can't even reconcile that. I can't even, I can't even, re and then his spouse getting a phone call that your husband lost his life going to pick up his child. How do you reconcile that? I would not be able to reconcile my husband not coming home to me to go pick up his child, our son. How, Sway? No, 
nah I went on a whole tangent today but listen it was on my spirit that was heartbreaking it was heartbreaking to see that to hear about it to to think about what that would mean even for my family wow do the work y'all do the work and I know it's not easy and I know you know we're all hurting in our own spaces we all got a lot going on. We've all been through a lot. And I'm not saying that these folks that you procreated with are the best folks, you know, on the planet for you. But I am saying that they are the person you chose. So you have some decisions to make. You got some decisions to make. Especially when those decisions don't just impact you. That's my Royal Rumble for today. Any questions, comments? Maybe I'm just losing it. Maybe I'm just talking shit. What do y'all think? Um, I'm not sure if you all have heard about that, uh, but it was really like a TikTok just wasn't going to do it for me. I really needed to say what I thought and felt about it. Um, I've watched, you know, some of my friends be single moms. And there are absolutely fathers who choose not to be involved. You can't make that make sense to your child. You just have to do your best to explain what it is. Um, but there's also, you know, fathers who have come around after some time and figured out, dang, I really, I'm ready to be a dad. And, you know, the person, woman allowing the father to create a relationship with their child and their child make a, a decision on their own of what they want to do with that relationship, right? With no influence from the mother. No influence. Your child is going to come to their own conclusion anyway. They're going to do that anyway without your assistance. They're going to do it anyway. You let people make their own bed. Let them make their own bed. Of course, you don't allow any space that... Um, creates harm or trauma for the child, you know, but children have to learn who their parents are on their own terms. Whether it be now or when they get old enough to make that decision on their own, it will happen. That desire to know of or know why and all of that, you can't control as a parent. That is a part of your identity. Who is my biological parent? What does that mean for me? That's just a part of being a person. And that's okay. That doesn't have any influence on who you are as a parent at all. You could be the best parent in the world and the, the child is still going to want to have a clear, concise view of who they are. How did they get here? That's okay. That's okay. What do y'all think? And I mean... I just felt so passionate about this today. I could not let the day pass and not say something about it. I I had a few minutes to do my little TikTok, which I absolutely love doing TikToks. Um, I had a few minutes to do my TikTok, but I really wanted to speak very candidly on this. I know a lot of times, um, I, and I say my very unpopular opinion, I know, you know, there's there may be some folks that disagree with me. I'm okay with that. But I, you know, in my experience, not only as a therapist, but as a adult child of parents who were divorced. Um, yeah, no, on top of the fact that I'm the parent of a child that is not biologically mine. Um, yeah, nah. Uh-uh. It's a lot. It's a lot. I know what it feels like to be in the position of a child. I know what it feels like to be in the position as a parent and you only want to support your spouse in being able to have a relationship with their child. I know what it's like. And uh, yeah, it can be a lot. It can be a lot. And I'm not gonna at all say it's easy for the mothers trying to work with fathers who they feel like are inconsiderate and disrespectful and unproductive and not consistent. I, I, I'm i not even going to try to explain that away at all. That's not the purpose of this at all. 
um, because we know that exists. We know um, that is a, absolutely a thing. And that can be one of the barriers to, to trying to be a support in that relationship. I totally get it. I totally get it. But what, what do you guys think? I don't, you know, I'm not at all trying to come across as if um, it's all on moms in this particular situation. Um, somebody got involved that, I, I, get, I, I guess I equate it to like, you know, my son's mother coming to get him from our house and I get in the way and approach his biological mother with aggression. How, why would I do that? Why is that my place to do that? Whatever I do impacts my husband's relationship that he can have with his son. Any, yeah, no, I just don't. That doesn't compute to me, really. Um, I don't have, what gives me the power to do that? Nah, I don't, I can't. I mean, do what do y'all, do y'all agree? Do y'all disagree? Like, what are your thoughts? Do you guys even know the situation I'm talking about? Again, I know some of y'all coming in and out. The gentleman who was murdered, um, and I use the word murdered, by uh, his child's mother's boyfriend or husband in trying to go get his child. How? Why? I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. Maybe I'm not supposed to. Maybe I'm not supposed to get it. Um, but they were trying to have the discussion around whether that was self-defense or not. Um, saying, you know, because apparently the gentleman that shot the father was saying that it was self-defense. Because, of course, in Texas, it happened in Texas. It is an open carry state and you have the right to carry a firearm, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But I want to keep up with this and see how it goes because I, I just can't believe. Yeah. Trying to go get your child? Really? Nah. Mm -mm. Nah. Um, but what do you guys think? I don't want to keep y'all here too long. I just needed to say something while I had a minute. And I've already eaten my little lunch earlier. Um. But I had, a, I had some time today, so I wanted to spend some time today on this particular issue because it means so much to me. It means so much to me, especially having the dad that I had. My dad is amazing. He is not perfect by a long shot, but he is absolutely one of the most amazing human beings I've ever met or will I've ever have the privilege to have in my life, ever. Ever. So this is heartbreaking, to say the least, to hear. Heartbreaking. Who y'all. I know I got on my soapbox. Very passionate today. Very passionate about this particular thing. Uh, and it really is an ongoing conversation. I did a live not too long ago about baby mamas and baby daddies and just kind of mending that relationship and even those titles. But um, anyway, I'm going to go mind my business. In the event that you struggle today, we're going to light you up. We're going to light you up. We're going to get you right. Because I did it earlier. One of my sessions, we're going to we gonna get you right. We're going to get me right because that just put a whole bad, you know, situation on my spirit. Whoa, whoa, my gosh. Get my sage and light it up. Oh, always make me feel like I can't breathe, but it's like a, a great suffocation. I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? And I got asthma. Ain't nobody got time. But I just felt like after that conversation, we needed some sage. 
because um yeah and then i have my beauty right here she always protecting me because i don't have time i don't have time a beautiful black woman made these and i bought it in baltimore beautiful healing crystals i love them so much keep them around but we got sage for this conversation because it was way too much it was just it was just way too much um it was just way too much today i i hope to just as some last minute encouragement for all of you beautiful people out there who have children by someone and you are no longer with the other parents please y'all get to counseling if you can work together to figure out a way to live and work together as a family you may no longer be together you may be with separate folks but guess what your kids are the glue figure out a way Figure out a way to make it make sense, especially for your kids. Trust me when I say they will appreciate it. They will appreciate it, even if they don't now, even if they don't realize now how much sacrifice it requires, how much love, how much love and compassion and support and all of it, how much it takes now they will recognize it later on and they will be able to duplicate it later on you're teaching them a skill it's a skill these lips are dry it's a skill don't be afraid to do that for yourself and for your kids now let me say this too i keep vaseline handy i don't know about y'all but my lips get red. That is one of my pet. Maybe that's one of my pet peeves. One of my pet peeves are for dry lips. I can't stand a dry lip. I can't stand a dry ankle. I can't stand a dry foot. I can't stand no dry hands. So I always in my purse, in my car, in my my side drawer, and next to my bed, I have Vaseline, not and Carmex. I don't want the the little cutesy ones. They cool. But they don't give you enough support through the day, especially when it's real cold. I can't stand nobody dry lips, specifically mine. The other thing, dry hands. Can mm, I ain't got time for no dry hands? We gotta keep these things moisturized. Oh, it just feel like sandpaper. If you don't have one, they sandpaper and you. I ain't got time. I just don't have time for it. Just don't be having time for no dry lip or no dry hands. So we keep it on deck. Lotion. And this joint smells really good. And Vaseline. My child hates when I swoop this Vaseline on her lips in the morning and in the evening. But I can't stand a dry lip. Dry, bleeding, cutting up because you just dry. I ain't got time. I don't. I really don't. Those are my must-haves. Um, and some, you know, some, some good lotion. I just got off topic real quick because my lips were dry and I needed to um, address that. Um, but anyways, I hope that y'all, you know, not for nothing, just love on your family. Love on your family. Life is so short. People been dropping out of here like faster than I've ever seen. Um, and so just taking the time to love, care about, and consider each other is so invaluable. Um, you don't know when you have the last opportunity to do that. For somebody. So I hope that y'all have a beautiful. Today is Tuesday. And I will see y'all next Monday. Check out my TikToks. Follow me on TikTok. At the Barefoot Therapist. Two T's at the end. Peace.